many, many police officers and a dark barricade, which indicates something bad happened. Early on Thursday morning, a passing driver spotted a body just off the road in the 17,000 block of Chefman Tour Highway. Police arrived to find a man who'd been shot to death. A woman who did not want to be identified has a family business a few miles away from the scene. While this morning's news is sad, she says it's not shocking for this part of New Orleans. They don't patrol in this area. Unless something, unless someone calls and something bad happens, they don't really come up and just patrol for no reason, no. But NOPD Chief Michael Harrison says, for one, they're seeing a downward trend in most crimes in the East. 11% decrease in murders. They have a 28% increase in shootings. They're down in burglary. They're up in auto burglary. They are down in auto theft and they're down in theft. And he says officers are patrolling. In fact, Harrison says there are 91 officers assigned to the 7th district right now. But because it is such a big geographical area, sometimes people want to see police officers when they step outside of the door. The odds of that sometimes are just not favorable. The officers are there. They're responding to calls. They're patrolling. They're being very, very visible. Uh, but I think we have to manage our expectations uh, very carefully. Harrison says during the holidays, overtime pay will be available to officers who assist with patrols in four districts, including the seventh district. In the meantime, and with the help of a surveillance camera network paid for and monitored by the business community in that part of New Orleans East, the business owner we spoke to tells us they plan to keep looking out for themselves. You got to learn how to protect yourself. It's, it's just safer to take care of yourself than put your life into somebody else's hands. Reporting in New Orleans East, Kelsey Davis, WDSU News.